We are doing a Food Wars Shokugeki battle between Chef Ash and me. And I can Paul. cook. I cooked on this channel before you even got here. Today we've got a challenge that'll surely knock your socks off and probably a whole lot more. Ooh, I'm sorry, I'm getting undressed already. Not only are we doing a Food Wars challenge, but we are going to do a Benny off and we're gonna see who can cook the best eggs benedicts, but in two different ways. But we're not gonna do it alone. Oh, huh. I've got Ember. I've got Kimmy. Yeah. We got it. Very spooky. Good. Yeah, good luck with that one. Okay. <laughs> All right. True. Get out of here. I'm gonna make We're going to you. We are going to make the classic eggs benedict that Arena made at the very beginning of Food Wars. I have made every part of the eggs benedict but the hollandaise sauce. Oh, okay. What do you know about Food Wars? None, but not much. Clothes go flying. They all fight with food chef battle. That, yeah. You can be right. our Arena. Okay. Cause she's got a god tongue. I like that. Traditional eggs benedict mm. does have a ham, but I figured we could make some fancy bacon. Ooh, okay. Do you like fancy bacon? I love fancy bacon. So we're gonna candy our bacon. <gasps> Yum. You wanna add some brown sugar on top. Of course. A little bit of pepper, cause you want it nice mm. and spicy. We want flavor. Oh my god. In every single bite. Yeah, baby. I don't recall that being in the show. It's food wars, we can. War, we're battling. I what? have one more special ingredient. What? Okay, what, yeah, what are we doing? What are we doing? What is it? Whoa! I thought this was breakfast. <laughs> Excuse me. Have you never heard of boozy breakfast? It's 5 p.m. somewhere. Yeah. Koniaki on top. Koniaki, oh. everyone. And then this is gonna go into the oven at 450 degrees for like 20 minutes or so until it's nice and crispy. Woo, woo. <laughs> All that booze will burn off in the oven. If I get drunk from trying that, I'm going to HR. Okay, now you told me that you were very good at poaching eggs. I don't know if I'm very good, but I've done it. <laughs> so Rene Redzepi is probably one of the best chefs in the world, mm. and his wife wrote this hack in the cookbook for okay. how to make the perfect poached eggs. It involves a plastic wrap. Okay. Uh -huh. And you're going to put it into the bowl so that we just have a nice, this is, Harder. To the bowl. I think we're gonna win. This, this, this is sloppy. This is no sloppy. Shade, but... <laughs> and then make a little well with your hands. Oh, a little well. <laughs> if you want. Okay, this was the. This is another hack that I learned. Oh, oh. Do it on our forehead next. <laughs> it's so cold. How does that feel? <laughs> it's so weird. And we're gonna fold it over and make a little egg pouch. Oh, look how cute it is. This can handle heat like that. That's yeah. crazy. Okay. All right, should we got another egg. <laughs> I'm gonna not do that. I'm so sorry. No, don't be. Soccer. We're gonna go back to this method. There's no paper towel. Science. What did you say? Science. Science? Amber and I came up with a good drinking game. Every time you guys say science, we're drinking back there. Science. science. Oh, science. science. You guys have the cognac, we don't. Uh. <laughs> Science! Science! <laughs> okay, so next we're gonna make the hollandaise sauce. Okay, amazing. I Have am you ever made notes. a hollandaise sauce? No, I'm taking notes. The start of a hollandaise sauce mm -hmm. are egg yolks. Okay. Here's a hack. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. I am do you obsessed. want to do it? I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Yes, please. <laughs> this is incredible. Does this not make you so happy? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, there's a little bit of yolk in there. That's it. <laughs> now, we are going to whisk like our life depends on it. Amazing. And you are going to very slowly. Slowly incorporate this butter? Yes. Okay. So, so the heat from the melted butter is going to mm. what? Slowly cooks the egg yolks just a little bit, but not all the way through. Put some elbow grease into it. <laughs> yeah. This is my workout for the day. This is whiskey business. And we're business. also gonna <laughs> add in a little bit of mustard. Okay. Just a little spoon will do ya. And then we're also gonna add in lemon. <laughs> we're gonna add in some citrus. Ooh, yummy. Is this too much? No, it's good. All right. You can have actual proportions for making a good hollandaise sauce, mm -hmm. but my personal belief yeah. is feel. Vibes. Why do we slowly do this part? Um, because if you add too much butter, mm -hmm. A, uh, it can overcook the egg. Oh. And B, you're mixing together the egg 
the citrus that we're gonna put in mm -hmm. and fat. And oil and water don't generally like to mix. So what you're trying to do is making an emulsion. You're trying to like make the oil into very tiny Little, bu little, little, babies, little babies, little babies, so that they mix mm, together. Okay. Or it'll separate. We don't want that. We don't want that. Probably add a little squeeze of lemon on. Okay. Yeah, I can try it. It's not gonna like give me salmonella or anything. No. Nope. Okay, cool. <laughs> a little bit. Oh my god, that's really good. <laughs> All right, I will let you do the honors. Oh. Three, two, one. Bloop, bloop. <laughs> I love cooking. <laughs> <laughs> they'll do their little thing and they'll poach. They'll poach lovely. Last couple of things that we need to do. English muffins. Do you know the proper way? No. I mean, I just cut them with a, a knife. What do you do? No. no. To get all of the nooks and crannies? <laughs> no. A English muffin will have a line and you stick your fork into it. And you go like that. Oh! I don't know, an English yeah. person told me this at some point in my no, life. No, I trust them! So that you can get the beautiful nooks and oh. crannies on the inside. I get because it's already been so nicely cut. While you're doing that, yeah. I'm going to chop up some chives, because we're going to garnish the top with some chives and a little bit of uh, paprika. Ooh, yummy! Yeah, paprika. Cayenne paprika? What's, What's happening over there? <laughs> chives! <laughs> Excuse me? Excuse me? What's that? Ooh. Get some nice little diced chubby chives. <laughs> so we're gonna just pop these into the toaster Great. oven and yeah. And oh, look, they're toasted. So when I was doing research mm. on the eggs Benedict from Food Wars yeah. that Arena makes, mm -hmm. uh, she uses katasumi. Ooh, okay. Which is a dried fish that's been like turned into a powder, but she used a little pinch of it in making the English muffins. She made her English muffins from scratch. Sorry, we don't even mm -hmm. got time for that today now. <laughs> but we're just gonna add a little pinch of this. Just give that little bit of umami flavor Ooh. at the bottom of our English muffins. Umami. 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 Oh, our bacon is done. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. It has smell. It smells so good. Two pieces of bacon per per thing. Per thing. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> you guys are. <laughs> You're playing <laughs> with jelly now. <laughs> that egg has fallen apart. Oh no. Plastic wrap, huh? Hmm. It's falling apart. Food it's service hard. film. So we are going to pull out. Oh, cute. Our little egg pouches. Hey, hey, but look. This one, maybe it wasn't wrapped tight enough, that's probably my bad, but look how perfect it still is. That looks amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Yum. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Everyone can eat it. Wait, that one's actually so cute and perfect. Mm, little boop boop. All right, and here goes the other egg on top of this lovely and nice dollop of Hollandaise sauce. Hollandaise. My Hollandaise sauce broke, I'm so sorry. And then we're gonna hit it with a Ooh! Chai bag. Chives? And then we're gonna do a little thing of cayenne. Oh my gosh, this little avalanche is so good. Voila! It's trickling quite a bit. That's a point yeah, of a that's point of a poached egg! Are you let's, ready? Let's, let's freaking do it. Go. Oh, 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 oh. Uh -oh. Oh, where did you come from? Before we start, <laughs> our guy Benison is going to present the Battle of the Benny. <gasps> What does that mean? What is, what is that? The Battle of the Benny! Star wipe! Yo fam, we gonna Yo do fam. a Benny off. Sorry. I'm even curious what these questions are gonna be. I know, I have no idea. I'm so nervous right now. Benny here with Benny Trivia. Get what ready, Nicole doing? Matt. What are we doing? What is my zodiac sign? What the hell? Uh, Capricorn. <laughs> Cancer. Gemini. Aquarius. Leo. Yeah, it's Leo. <laughs> uh, all, right, all right, I'm down one. True or false, Benedict Arnold took part in a failed attempt to capture Canada. True. It was true. Oh. It was true. It's true. I thought it was England or something. Next question. Benedict is a memorable character from what Shakespearean play? Did he say Benedict? Benedict. Dick. Midsummer Night's Dream. <laughs> Henry V. Oh, Romeo and Juliet. No. <laughs> I wasn't a theater person like the rest of you. Titus Andronicus. No. The Chronicles of Narnia? <laughs> the answer, much ado about nothing. Oh, yeah, that is another Shakespeare play. I didn't know that. I know it was a movie title. I don't know what the movie is. I can't believe Apparently, I don't know Benedict. I, I will also say my friend edited that movie. What the f 
Oh, wow. I didn't watch it though. <laughs> Pope Benedict the 16th never learned to drive and prefers this mode of transportation. Horse. The Pope-mobile! Walking! <laughs> a bike. A skateboard. A plane. Hot air balloon. <laughs> a train. <laughs> Blimps. Okay, all right. We're moving a little He <laughs> likes to be wheeled in a wheelbarrow. Okay. He cartwheels. Oh god, okay. Now, well, all right. Benny with the answer. A helicopter. Oh! That's crazy. And he has a pilot license. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that was in the Vatican's budget. What kind of animal is Benedict from Animal Crossing? Oh, God. I didn't even know. Hamster. A penguin. Raccoon. A koala. Um, a lion. A tiger. A cat. Um, I don't know this game at all. I have never played Animal Crossing. Crossing. A goat. Chicken? It is a chicken. <laughs> Are you for real right now? <laughs> it's a chicken! Oh, guys. Bad news. Oh, what the hell is that? What is that? You were both so terrible at that game. I think it's only fair if you both have the punishment. I feel like we should have known this was coming. <laughs> this was so bad. This was so rank. God. Oh, wow, so beautiful. Oh, that's nasty. Is it so good? That's so cute. Oh. No, it's not so great. Oh, it sucks. Wah, wah. Why you guys say that? That show's sticky. <laughs> Alright, Kimmy, let's get out of here. Yes, Andrew and Nicole. Well, alright. It looks like it's time for Ember and Ash. Uh, yeah, we are doing eggs benefit. We're doing eggs benefit. Are you doing some d We're doing the d fit for a queen. D for a queen. So, we are doing the rice bowl that is seen in the last episode of Food Wars. Yes. It's going to be gorgeous, and honestly, I don't understand why Kimmy and uh, Nicole think they're gonna win over this. No. I respect what they did. I think it was very classy. Yeah, um, it's cute. Well, they didn't really elevate the form. Um, what we are doing color. is the queen's d I mean, so we've got a big, shelf. we got a big fat oh, pork belly. Wow. <laughs> Literally pork belly. The way that we cooked this, because it's already cooked, uh, we did the same method that we showed you guys how to do in ramen tacos for Wee Bear Bear. So be sure to check that out. The biggest thing on this bowl is the tempura fried poached egg. It's tempura and it's fried and it's poached. I don't yeah. know how to do any of those things. <laughs> a lot of process. With a Japanese style hollandaise sauce. A what? I just learned apparently it's not pronounced like hollandaise. It's hollandaise. Yeah, she's Letters been she's been that? saying holiday all day. It's not really about how it's said. It's about how it tastes. How it tastes. I'm the cheerleader here. I'm like, wow. Look what how cute they are. Come Look on, at we got the this. The shortest team. All right, so, so they showed you this cute little method of how to poach an egg with plastic wrap. I learned a new trick on how to poach an egg, and actually, what you do is you crack some eggs directly into a solution that is half vinegar, half water. Leave it in there for 10 minutes, and the vinegar does science to make sure that the Ten egg out. keeps its form. Science! Science! science. My god! Science. Right here. Can I crack some eggs with me? <laughs> Don't crack it on my forehead, please. I would never so do that sorry. to you personally. You so <laughs> That's what I thought. What does the vinegar do? There is something scientifically that I don't understand because I don't remember, but oh, it's the, the vinegar does something to yeah. the outer whites of the egg that helps keep this keep its form. So that is going to sit for 10 minutes. Five, six, seven, eight. They're counting to 10 nine, minutes. <laughs> 10. I'm going to have to 60 and I'm going to do it 10 times. Jesus Christ. Is 15, that 600 or 6,000? 16. You want me to do math? I'm trying to cook. Well, that's going. We can slice up our garnishes. Okay. And then we're going to make our hollandaise sauce. You want this all thin? This is a knife. I don't know why they let me have one of these. Yeah, I don't know either. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Jesus. Just kidding. I can use it. I started out in the real kitchen where Michael is now, and this is what I did every week. Yeah, with that. Sometimes they were a little thick. The other times they were really good. <laughs> That's literally the only job for them to not be good. <laughs> I'm gonna start working on the hollandaise sauce. Hollandaise. The hard part. I like to do my hollandaise sauce with an immersion blender. Um, oh. Not because I the whisk scares me, I just I think it's easier. You're not gonna taste any whisks? Wow. That was okay, really bad. kitty. <laughs> That's stupid. Yes, so we need three egg yolks, not the whole egg. Thank mm. you. Oh. Wow, you did that, you didn't even need water though. I know, right? As you can see, the eggs are really starting to have a nice, distinct form. I need my yuzu extract. As you can see in the oh, other Oh, you hand, want this? 
Oh, is there gonna be a riddle? I need a riddle! <gasps> You're being emperor! Gosh, riddle me this! A box without hinges, lid, or something. It's an egg. God damn it. Right. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing! Nicole, get back here! I have a riddle for you! An egg farmer will refer to a fart egg when it... Has poop on it. No, that would be a poop egg. I love how she just knows riddles. Sir. What is it when you fart that, that is different from when you poop? Gas. Gas? Doesn't have. A yolk? A yolk. Oh! Interesting. It was like a fart for the chicken. You wanna learn how to make... Let's cut all of that out. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to make Japanese style hollandaise sauce. Yeah. So instead of lemon juice, we're actually gonna use uzu extract. Mm. What are you using? <laughs> Not like she said uzu. She did say uzu, right? Girl she cook. did say uzu. Let me cook! God <laughs> damn! So again, like Nicole, I also believe it's all feel. So probably I'm right there with you. Damn it! We're gonna do this? togarashi instead of. Nope. Nope. <laughs> yep. Togarashi, which is a Japanese red pepper, instead of cayenne. Same. Just a little. Beep, beep. This is soy sauce, and I'm just gonna do a dash. Just an ash. That's a Kardashian <laughs> story. There we go. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna blend all this together before we even start with our butter. Oh yeah. Whoa. Mm. I like to use a cup instead of a bowl because, you know. Because things, she's lazy. Things get splashy. <laughs> I'm not lazy. You know, we did not talk we nearly this much. We oh, I guess I shouldn't we talk and tell you that there's respectful. one minute left on your timer, but I would tell you that if I could talk. <laughs> One minute left on our timer. That's great to know. So nine Looks minutes. like they're turning into babies. Embryos are forming. Embryos. Oh. Aww. The way that we're gonna do this is we're gonna ladle the eggs, and we do want a little bit of that water vinegar solution still when we drop it in there. Um, now, how are you gonna do this? So that kind of just rolls Whoa. into. Whoa. Oh, careful. There yeah, we go. You got it. I caught it. There we go. Yep. Now we're just gonna drop it. Oh my stars. And we're gonna do the same thing for the other two. Real careful there. <laughs> this is open heart surgery, folks. Ah, we're gonna dump it! Honey, you got this. Okay. Holy yep. We're good. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. Thank yep. you. That's gonna do its thing for about two or three minutes, and while we're doing that, you can slowly stream that butter into my egg. Oh. We forgot Dijon. Hey, my friend. Dijon. Give me squish. Little tiny squeak. Oh, oh. right on top. <laughs> right on top of right the blender. On top. <laughs> Back to blending. Huh? Is our butter also cooking the egg? This one is also cooking the egg. <laughs> All right. So yellow. Take a taste. I will. Mmm. Mm. Mm. I think that is good to go. That's what we're working with. I don't want to spill it. Ah! Yeah. The eggs! I need a plate! We have bowls up there that are prop bowls. Yeah, you can grab a plate over there. I feel like they have a lot more chaos than we did. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing a hundred more things than you are. Alright, so these are done. Beautiful. Oh my god. Look at that. I love her. Ah! I'm naming her Julia. Oh. Oh my god, those are gorgeous. That's Henrietta. And that's Georgie. Let's finish up cutting our garnishes okay. so we can chiffonade, cooking term, the shiso leaves. And tell me what the chiffonade is. So chiffonade is a cutting technique. It is a cutting technique where you take the like leafy greens, so you can do it with basil, you can do it with spinach if you were to chiffonade uh, spinach, back it up, and then roll it up tightly. It's very scary stuff. Uh, Screaming is warranted. Uh, and then... Perpendicular to the roll, that's where you cut your thin little strip. Well, not like that. Not like that. <laughs> you could do it a little thicker. Perfect. So you see that, how it kind of, these really nice, thin, long strands. And then now we can cut up the pork belly. This is very scary. Yeah, be careful. Well, you're holding it very weirdly. Well, I don't know how to do it. So, guiding knuckle. We don't, I don't know what you're doing, but guiding knuckle. <laughs> oh yeah, that looks much better. Oh, Ooh. this piece fell off, so. Oh no! Eh. Oh, perfect. I'll be more like that. Before we fry, Ooh, before we batter. Guiding knuckle. Oh, guiding knuckle. Yeah. <laughs> guiding knuckle. Okay, okay, we're done. Put the knife down. Now we are going to finally batter and fry 
scary, scary our eggs. Fry time for our eggs. All right, so our oil right now is at 350, which is perfect for deep frying. It's very delicate, obviously, our poached egg. <laughs> Go for it. It's all right, Henrietta. You'll Are you sure that safe. one is Henrietta? Yes, I know my children. So just a little delicate blotty blot. Don't be afraid, Georgie. What were the other ones? Georgie, Julia, and Henrietta. I'm so sorry. I'm such a bad aunt. Let's just do one and see what one looks like before okay. we jump into doing all three. Henrietta is the middle child, so, so if something she goes has wrong, the most to prove. We don't really love her that much, that's what you're saying. Okay. I have a twin sister and she's 20 minutes younger than me, so I consider myself the middle child. <laughs> you ready for this yes. deep fry moment? Let's go. I don't have time for this. I'm gonna go till it's golden brown and delicious. Henrietta, are you all right, dear? You're growing more beautiful every minute. Whoa. That one got a little crispy. That looks so good. All right, let's do that with the next two. Julia, my child, are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> it's gotten so weird. Food Wars is weird. Uh -huh. I'm gonna transfer it to this. Ah. Uh, I think that'll be smart. much smarter. Or it'll stick. Oh no. Just leave the wax, leave it leave in there. It in. So for the rice base, we've got sushi rice here that's already been cooked and we're gonna mix some shio kombu into it. It's dried seaweed. And that's it what they do in the show. Like chocolate. I don't think that is really? true at all. <laughs> do a little a couple pinch bowls and then mix it in and kind of see where we're at. I'm gonna take this one out if I can. Julia is anxious. Don't get a cameraman on this. Well, the top is fried. All right, in goes the last one. I don't know why it's popping like that. It's because Georgie likes to pot <laughs> seaweed in the rice. Quite right. Oh yes, okay. And now it's time to build. All right, you wanna do the rice? So we're gonna yeah. do a bed of rice first. You don't need to fill it too full because it's a good? lot of components. Yeah, that's perfect. We're just right. Just like mama bear taught me. Perfect. So that's the rice base. And then now we'll do our shredded cabbage. Cabbage? Cabbage. No, we're not doing that. Holiday. Holiday. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh. All right, so now we're going to do our shisa leaves mm. on top of the cabbage. And then now our pork belly. Oh, Perfectly sliced pieces. pork belly. They're undeniably perfect. Egg. Henrietta. Julia. I literally can't tell if you're actually keeping track. I am Georgie. A perfect boy. Gorgeous. All right, and now it's time for our Hollandaise sauce. When oh, look at that. A it didn't break. It smells really good. <laughs> Pour that baby all over the top. I'm so <laughs> proud of you, Georgie. And this is our special moment together. All right, and then the last touch is a bit of green onion. There you go. You look so handsome. I feel like we're straightening their ties and their corsages before from home. You be safe tonight. Please wear protection. Please wear protection. <laughs> it's time to judge our dishes and their dishes. I have no concerns. Star wipe! All right, here we are. Uh, Joe, Jack, Sorry. Michael. We are here to judge the final Eggs Benedict. We're gonna take this very serious today. Uh, we've incorporated the Ken dolls just in case we like them too much. It kind of looks like you. Thank you. All right, uh, I guess we'll start with the first one. Whose is this? Don't worry about it. Okay. I know good food when I see it. It's kind of yeah, hot, it's kind of tough. Stuff on it. All right, you boys ready? This is coming from a guy, I don't like eggs, so. Uh-oh, that's <laughs> oh, a, no. starting in a bad <laughs> that's spot. That's a disaster. So I don't know if I'll like it too much. All right. All right, here we go. You boys ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Mm. Oh! Mm. Mm. I think I need to take my shirt off over that one. Mm. Oh my god! Mm. Uh, like salt okay. Oh. Ah. You made that? Mm. I give it a three. <laughs> Hard two. What's the scale? I don't know. One! I think we went a little little far with that. Too far? Yeah, yeah, too far. Like we're, 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 gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna tone it down for this next bite. Pretty good, pretty good. Could, yeah, yeah. good. I, I hate eggs and I didn't die. All right. Tasted like a good eggs benedict, just like mm. a standard. Yeah. This one feels a little bouncy. Oh, you just called it standard. Yeah. This one smells a little funkier. I feel like it's gonna burst in my mouth. <laughs> if you're lucky. I love a good burst. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Fuck! Oh! 
What's happening? I feel that. We bought Ken dolls mm. for this. <laughs> I like the first one better. I'm gonna go with choice number two. Well, it's up to you, Michael. I think number one takes it. Number one! Ah! Yeah, sorry. Oh, wow. I got to. It just tastes yeah. more like, that's like a very oh. eggs benedict <laughs> dish, you know what I mean? Oh, oh, oh Chef Ash? Oh. Ash Lowe! Ash, 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 Ash <laughs> Chef Ash lost. Chef Ash lost. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of PVF Chef. If you liked it, there's lots more. I don't know about that. There's lots more cooking where this came from. So stay tuned. Be sure to like, subscribe, tell all your friends, and uh, bye. Goodbye. Bye. bye. How's it feel to know that you have to go to the gym after standing next to me? Yes, no. <laughs>